Hey, it's Nick with the Us Versus Her. Today, I want to do a platform overview of Tastyworks desktop application. This is just gonna be the desktop application and it works for the same for PC and Mac. I'm gonna show you what's the good thing about it, what the bad things are about it, and if this is a fit for you. Obviously, Tastyworks is my go-to broker. And if you like what you see here, there's a link below in the description for a referral code. Appreciate it if you used it. If not, all good. Just want to throw that out there uh, for you. But going into the platform here, the Tastyworks platform, I mean, it's what I like about it. It's super fast. It allows you to do a lot of things and uh, quickly, simple tasks or complex tasks, tasks quickly. But I will say that the, the, shortcomings are that you can't really use it for like scalping like scalping is not good I, I definitely would think that thinkorswim is much better but if you're swing trading or just putting on trades and holding them for more than five minutes then tastyworks is going to be a amazing 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 platform i mean i've been using them out since the beginning i was one of the first traders on there and i've been using them was that like since like 2017 or so and I like it. They do have a web application. They do have mobile for iOS and for Android. But, you know, most of my positions I'm managing on the desktop platform. And as you can see here, what I really like is the position screen, as you can kind of see for at a glance how your positions are doing. Are you up money? Are you down money? And you can easily click and see like what these positions are and what the breakdown is and if you have any working orders for these you know current positions that you have on so as you can see here i have a couple broken wing butterflies on here i have um, a naked put here for novavax and it really makes it you know fairly simple it's customizable i can see how what the percentage open is how much i realize today on these you know what my delta is you know what what uh just the overall cost basis. I mean, so if I want to see how my portfolio is doing, this gives me at a glance exactly how it is doing, what's going well, what's not working, what are my deltas, what do I need to manage, do I need to do anything? Now, I will say that this is primarily for, you know, premium selling, selling spreads. Sure, you can do naked options like I did here, but really, where it really is, the bread and butter is for if you're doing spreads or trying to, you're doing complex options or advanced option strategies that, you know, essentially you don't know how to calculate delta and stuff across the board. It will do it all for you. Now the trade, the trade screen, I will say, is obviously the best part of this platform. Is the trade screen? So you you have the table mode, and of course you have the curve mode. Uh, for for Tastyworks, where you can kind of get an overview. Now, table mode works exactly like you would on any you know any other platform. You have um, you know basically your strike here, bid ask calls and puts, same exact layout that they that you would have on any other options platform. I do like that you can easily just click. Let's say if I wanted to buy this 155 put, you just click here automatically fills it in here for you. You can hit you can hit re review and send if you like that. You can also adjust the price here. You could put in, you know, $5 if you don't want, if you want to do that. You know, very, very, very simple. I do like down in here where it says, you know, basically, let me show you this here. Highlights, highlights exactly what's gonna go on here. So you have your probability of profit, profit your trend, extrinsic, extrinsic value, how much your uh, P50 means probability of 50. What's your probability of making 50% profit on this trade here? What well, your delta and theta. So it really highlights that for you. It's really powerful when you start putting in like spreads. So let's say I wanted to do a credit put spread here. I could easily click I click on the bid for the short leg, click click on the ask for the long leg, and it will automatically start showing you popping up here. And as you can see here, my prof, probability of profit on this one up to 66%, probability of making 50% profit on here, hit 65%, you can see deltas here, and what my max profit and my max loss is on, on this trade. Um, I'll go into the trade that I have on right now as an example. And you're one of the my bread and butter and what I really, 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 really use this platform for is let's say I have a I have a I have a butterfly on this like or some sort of spread, right? 
What I like to do even before, and I'll walk you through how to do this, even before I actually put the trade on, I'll see, okay, when, at what point do I, do I make money or lose money, right? And what I also, what I like is the orange bar right on the table here. This orange bar sim simple, si signifies like what is the, what is the, amount of points it's going to move what's the expected move which is i mean it's it's the same as over here which is 564 plus or minus 564 you'll have plus or minus 564 here but i like it gives you that visual you don't have to do that math so if it's just trading at 555 and it's like six bucks you're like is it 149 so one, this gives you the this gives you the visual right on here to show you exactly what it does but what i like to use it for is like okay how much money can i make on this tomorrow what are my probability I go to the curve and then you click on analysis here and then you can kind of start playing with it is this position right here. I can actually put it like a day ahead and say, okay, two days ahead, how much money am I going to make? Okay. If the stock price is 153, I'm going to be making the most amount of money 362. If the stock price is at 155, I'm going to be making like 77 bucks. And this is an expiration. This is for tomorrow. If I'm looking at tomorrow, okay, we're trading at 155, probably gonna be up like 50 bucks. If it goes down to 150, I'm gonna make theoretically, they have PL at expiration and PL theoretically. So theoretically, tomorrow is at 150. And they, they say, you say theoretically because you're, you're never 100% sure what you're gonna make. Because I mean, the market changes, IV changes. I mean, everything changes about, you know, options contracts. So theoretically, if let's say tomorrow Meta's f price is 150, I will be making $141.67. Now you can kind of play around with this. They also have, allow you to uh, change the implied volatility. So if let's say, if I think tomorrow, and this is very helpful around earnings, if I think implied volatility is going to be down tomorrow, so let's say this was an earnings trade, I could say, okay, it's going to be down 20, let's say 30%. IV go down 30%. So now you can kind of see here how much money you'll make if IV goes down. You could then put in there. So I put in a negative number right here. You could put in a positive number saying, I, I think IV is going to go through the roof. And this is how much money you make. You can see how that changes your options contract. So if you're learning how to trade options and you're trying to understand like how IV changes things, how, how theta changes things. You know, let's go into a little bit more of a complex trade here. Let's do, let's do spy. So then I don't have a position on and let's, let's kind of quickly put on a trade here. Let's just do it for like 23 days out. And let's say one thing that you could do here, if you don't know how to use all the strategies, they have a guide here. You can choose your strategy and let's just say, I want to do a, let's just do a, short call vertical okay so i'm going to do a vertical call spread obviously they just throw this on here you can start changing things and you're like okay how much money am i going to make here at what point and you can see here i have a max profit of 142 max loss of 158 so right here if i put this trade on it's going to be almost like a one-to-one -one scenario however you can see i'm still i'm still very far into this orange bar here which means i'm I'm really into the, um, you know, implied move here. So the implied move is plus or minus $19. So you may or may not want to do this tra trade, but let's just kind of show you how it works if we go into the analysis mode and playing with it. So let's say I want to see how it goes a few days from now. Let's just say, we'll say how it goes a couple days from now. You can kind of see how the, how the curve is starting to move there. Let's say, hey, I want to see how this is going to go in a couple weeks. And you can kind of see how pricing will start to change uh, for this expiration and when you'll start making money, when you start losing money, right, on this on this put spread. So you can kind of see here, I'll start moving losing money at 385 or so, 380, you know, kind of be at break even. And anything below, I'm gonna be start start making money on this uh, credit call spread. Right. So I find this, you know, I'm not going to go too far deep in here, but I find this extremely helpful to understand your profit and loss. If you have a hard time visualizing or doing the calculations of your head, this will actually do it all for you. Right. The other option that I like to use here is um, let's go back into meta and we'll go into let's go. Actually, Novavax might be a little bit more fun here because they had they had some crazy moves here. But let's just say, for example, I want to look at how these 40 40 puts have performed. You can actually right click on here 
uh, right on the option that you want. So I'm right clicking on the 40 put here and I'm gonna view in the options chart. This will actually show you the chart of how this options contract has performed. So a couple days ago, this was trading at, I'm doing the five minute chart here. We could probably change this to like 15 or so, so we can get a better view. Um, a couple days ago, this was trading at like five bucks. Right now it's trading around 20, 26 cents. And you can kind of see how you do that. I mean, if you, you can do this at any, any trade, you can go to SPX and we can look up anything. I mean, let's go into these, let's go into these puts here, 37.50 puts, right? A couple days ago, these are trading up to like 15 bucks, 100, I'm sorry, 129, 130. These are now trading at 36. Had a green day on the day, well, kind of green, kind of flattish, but you kind of, kind of get the idea. The one thing that I will say is that, you know, in terms of charting, this is where this really falls short. I actually use Thinkorswim to do my charting and, I don't really like I don't really like how the chart how the charts lay out. Now they do have some options here where they have you can you can it's a lot more customizable. You can click on this, things will pop out and they're called tasty charts. But for me, I don't really like to I don't really like to use it. But they do have it built in where you can actually customize this, have multiple columns and multiple charts, multiple rows. And you can you could pop this out, put on different monitors, which is fine. But I still really prefer Thinkorswim's charting. I just love executing orders on on Tastyworks. So you know that's kind of like the broad overview. I just wanted to do a, a, a quick review of it. Again, if you are interested in Tastyworks, my referral code is below. If you have any questions for me, let me know. As always, stay safe, stay green. It's us for certain.